Okay, in today's video, <laughs> oh, that's a bad habit. I don't even know why I have this thing up here. Um, I'm gonna use the boom mic today so that I can move around and show you guys stuff. And if I were to use this like I do out of habit, once I move around the room, you won't be able to hear me anymore. But anyway, today's video is about EMF meters. Um, everyone has seen the EMF meters that I've used to test saunas over the last year and a half or so. Uh, this video and the article hasn't been updated. I know we're like a year behind, but I've got most of the EMF meters in here to start talking about some of, a lot of people wanna know like what's the best EMF meter to buy for home use. I come from the, the viewpoint of there is no one meter that's going to do everything well, but I can talk to you about what is sort of acceptable and what's not um, for home detection or home EMF detection. So <clears throat> to start out with, most people usually refer to a Tri-Field 100XE. This meter is about 100 bucks. It does magnetic and electric fields okay, but the RF radiation portion of it is absolutely terrible. Uh, I won't use this at all to check Wi-Fi or cell phone distance like from where I sleep um, or anything like that because you pretty much have to have this on um, right on top of the source in order to detect the RF radiation at any type of accurate level. So I'm going to do a separate video about the best RF meter because everyone uses the term EMF as if it's one thing and EMF is really three things at any one time. Uh, magnetic fields, electric fields, and RF radiation. Uh, RF radiation comes from cell phones, cell towers, Wi-Fi routers, any type of Bluetooth um, or smartphone connection module, whether it be a smart home thing, in your car, um, different types of computer equipment, all kinds of things. Um, electric fields are generally found in your home from the wiring, uh, from circuit breakers, from anything that's powered up. Magnetic fields are generally present wherever there's a coil motor, uh, significant current being drawn, appliances, um, hair dryers, all that, obviously saunas, that's how I got into this stuff. Um, and so you generally, you need an electric field meter to measure electric fields and you need a Gauss meter to measure magnetic fields and you need an RF meter to measure RF radiation. And so there are a few meters that kind of do all three okay. Um, the only one that I would recommend if you're on a really tight budget, like under $200 and you can only buy one meter, would be this one, the Trifield TF2. It's about $160 on Amazon. I'll put links to all the meters down below in the YouTube description. Full disclosure, I do buy meters from different places for different stuff, but some of the places that I buy from, like Electra Health or some of the Stetzerizer filters for dirty electricity, this, that, and the other, uh, I generally like to get that stuff from Amazon. But that's because I'm a stickler and you know how Amazon has spoiled us all. If you can just buy it with a couple clicks and not have to put your information in every time, you know, from some store uh, that you don't usually buy from, it's a lot more convenient. The other thing is, I will tell you right up front that if you buy a meter from one of the places that I recommend down below in the YouTube description, um, and it's some of the places where I bought these, like Safe Living Technologies, this may, actually maybe this came from Amazon because they sell on Amazon, but there's one of these meters that I ordered from somewhere and don't get upset if it takes several weeks to receive it. That's another reason why I like to buy from Amazon because the, sh the shipping is very consistent and quick. A lot of times when you order from the smaller companies, the shipping can be very slow. Um, it's been like four weeks um, for a Schumann resonance generator that I ordered last month. Uh, I still haven't gotten it and it's from one of these companies. So just wanted to throw that out there. They are uh, trustworthy and they are reputable. You will get the equipment. It's just not as fast as we're used to. Uh, again, Amazon has spoiled us. But um, if you can only buy one meter and you want like a whole house meter, probably the only one that I would recommend is the Cornet ED88T. And you can get this on Amazon. It's under $200 and it will measure magnetic fields, electric fields, and RF radiation. It measures RF radiation pretty well uh, better than the tri-fields. However, the a lot of the stuff that I do for saunas and for everything else needs to be very accurate for magnetic fields and electric fields. For that, it's a little bit directional, so it will do, it will do okay for most people, um, and you'll be able to detect pretty much everything you need in your home. Um, but if you really want to test you know, magnetic fields and electric fields really well, I highly recommend the Alpha Labs UHS-2. Uh, this is a triple, triple axis Gauss meter. So a single axis Gauss meter will generally be very directional. So wherever you point the meter or wherever the sensor is, in this case, um, 
that's going to be directional on an XYZ axis. And so a triple axis Gauss meter will automatically calculate all those and give you an average for true accuracy in whatever environment you're testing. So this meter is between $350 and $380, I believe. Um, I don't think you can get this on Amazon. I'll put a link to where I bought mine in the YouTube description. It'll either be uh, SLT or um, I can't think of the other one. But for most people, this is probably gonna be one of the better meters that you can get because the RF frequency is accurate. And it'll also tell you um, the frequency, which is really nice. I use that meter sometimes just for that, just to kind of see what's going on. Now, in regards to, well, you'll, uh, when I make the RF specific video, I'm gonna talk about 5G and how I was wrong about 5G before and how a lot of people posting about, uh, like some lady, somebody sent me a video of some lady testing a, a 5G insert or a cell tower across the street from some house the other day. And she was standing there with this meter, and I own this, and I think it's a very good meter, probably the best RF meter for anyone looking to test things in their home. I'll get into why a little bit later. Um, but she's standing across from this thing, you know, across the street, and she's specifically saying it's a 5G thing and, met and, and showing us the output. And the output was actually very low. <laughs> but what she didn't realize is that 5G is usually 10 gigahertz and up or 20 gigahertz and up. I mean, it could be anywhere from 15 gigahertz to 90, depends on you know what the application is. Uh, this meter taps out at eight. So anything above its frequency range um, is <laughs> 200 megahertz to eight gigahertz. So anything above eight gigahertz, uh, it's gonna be drawing a blank for. So just keep that in mind. You have to be very mindful of where you're getting your information from. Um, I made the mistakes just like she's making now, you know, two years ago when I didn't understand what 5G is, because it's very easy to get it, con you know, con confused. You know, 2.4 gigahertz, uh, like a, in a Wi-Fi router, and it went to five, you'd think that 5G is just an expansion of that, but it's totally different. The frequency ranges are completely different. Um, and they're, they're three to a hundred times what a 2.4 or a, a five gigahertz Wi-Fi router would be, or the operational frequency ranges. Um, so let's talk about, this is mostly going to be about the best EMF meter, and I've already told you I think it's the Cornet ED88T for most people. If you want to do product reviews, or you want to have extremely accurate readings, because this is going to get you kind of close. It's not going to be the most accurate thing, but for most people that just want to test their homes and see, okay, do we have harmful levels, and then they do something like unplug things, or they put a mitigation or they deploy a mitigation technique and they want to know if it, it's improved or if it's non-existent anymore, this meter will do that for you. If you want to test saunas like I do or review products and truly know if they're safe and get accurate levels to compare to other brands or to you know promote stuff and you want to make sure that it's safe for other people, that's what's really important to me. Um, side benefit is all the stuff that I use myself I know is super safe because you know, I have the best meters to test the things. So to test electric fields really accurately, I would highly recommend this gigahertz solutions uh, meter. I'll put a link to it in the YouTube description. Again, this is about three to $400 just for this meter. But if you had this and this, you'd be able to test electric and magnetic fields extremely well. So if you're not a person that is on a super tight budget and you know that you wanna get the best set of EMF meters that you're gonna have for the rest of your life and you don't mind spending, you know, 1200 bucks or so, um, this would be three to 400, this would be three to 400, and then I'd probably recommend that you get this Acousticom AM10 because the RF, um, I'm gonna do a separate video on RF like I keep saying, but let me just show you now. So the reason that this is so important to get different meters if you need truly accurate readings is because of the sensitivity. And so, turn up the sound, make sure you can hear that. So right now, I specifically have a couple of things on in this house for this video. I have Wi-Fi on. It's not in this room, it's in the next room over. There is a door separating us, uh, and hopefully you can hear that. Pretty sure you can. Um, this meter is extremely sensitive for what you get. The only thing that I would recommend above this would be a gigahertz solution with an external antenna. That's pretty overkill for a lot of residential people. Um, if for some reason you need to measure directional stuff, you can just put this in a shoebox, line it with aluminum foil, and then you have yourself a little directional meter to use at home. Now obviously these recommendations are not for people that are um, 
you know, doing this professionally or anything like that. You'd want to consult with an electrical engineer, get meters, or just spend four or five grand and get a kit that has all the pro meters in it. This is basically geared toward residential customers or people like me um, that didn't know anything about EMFs and then all of a sudden, you know, things pop up and you gotta learn this stuff. So, as far as EMF meters go, I will give you a little quick, um, let me turn the volume down on this, just for this part. So the meter is still registering. I guess you won't be able to see that on the screen most likely, the levels. But I'll turn the volume up in just one second. The reason that this is so important is because when you have a meter that doesn't have good sensitivity, like right now, the tri-field meter is not picking up anything. So if this were like a baby's room or something like that, and you were doing a sweep of the baby monitors, or if you had Wi-Fi in the office next door and you wanted to make sure it wasn't you know, coming through the wall right where the crib is or something like that, this meter would give you a false sense of security because you're not really detecting anything. If you were just to look at this, it would show you that, you know, there's nothing on in the room. Same thing, a lot of people say that, you know, the TF2 has much improved uh, RF sensitivity. I disagree. Um, it's slowly uh, showing some levels on there, but it's not giving you a close representation of, you know, something like this, where you're actually getting a sense of, one, the presence, two, the levels, and the accuracy is very good. So that's why you want to be careful about, um, unless you're on a super tight budget, you don't want to get just one meter to do everything if you need to measure accurate levels. Now, what the, the way that you can use these is once you figure out what the sources are, like say you had, I don't know, let's just say you had um, some wireless Wi-Fi baby monitors and you didn't realize that putting that right next to your child's head because it attaches onto the arm of the crib so that it's really close and you can see the video and stuff, you didn't realize that once you get within 12 inches of that, the RF emissions are going to be just like a Wi-Fi router cut in half, which are pretty strong for a child. Um, what you could do with one of these or this, I'm sorry, this or this, even though the sensitivity is not that great, is you could get right on top of the source, you know, get right up close to it and measure the levels and then deploy whatever mitigation technique you're gonna use, like if it's an EMF blanket for the baby or if it's removing the source, um, you know, you can A-B test it. You can check to see the levels right there. You can remove that and make sure there's nothing else in the room. It will work for that, but for determining an accurate level or an accurate reduction, uh, I wouldn't bet my life on anything like this. Now there are, and you can see, even though I move this around, actually, let me grab a cell phone really quick and that'll show you. So watch, we've got a cell phone here. You can immediately tell on the Acousticom and <laughs> I mean, I can hear it and the levels are going up. So let's just use some data. We're gonna open Amazon and I can hear the Acousticom respond appropriately. The TF2, not so much. Uh, let's refresh the page. And I don't see the meter flickering at all on the tri-field. Although I hear things going on here. I can't see it because I'm trying to show you guys the screen. But let me refresh the page again. You can see immediately, this is accurately measuring the levels. Um, the only one that I didn't add to the mix is the Tri-Field, or I'm sorry, the Cornet ED88T. This one is pretty accurate for things like this. So this is a very good meter. Let me go ahead and refresh the page again. The nice thing about this is that it'll also tell you the frequency that it's detecting, which is pretty cool. If you're only gonna get one meter, like I said, it would be this one. And I'll put, the first link in the YouTube description will be to this. Uh, the only reason that in some of the other videos you don't see me talk about that is because, again, the magnetic field and electric field sensitivity is not up to par for specifically reviewing products and recommending things to people where we have to know that it's safe. Um, and you know, your reputation and everything else depends on it. For that, I would recommend these two, the Alpha Labs and the Gigahertz Solutions. This meter, 
Um, there's a bunch of cheap EMF meters on Amazon like this. I don't know if you call it MTurk or MeTurk, MeTurk, I don't know. This meter is complete trash. I just bought it to check someone's levels that emailed me and were freaking out because they bought a sauna from a company that said it was low EMF and then they got it and then it turned out not to be. Uh, this meter gives you a false inflation. <laughs> so it's inaccuracy makes you think that things aren't safe when in fact the levels really aren't that bad at all. Uh, it's only like $30 on Amazon, but it's a $30 piece of equipment that you'll buy to scare the shit out of yourself for no reason. So I don't recommend cheap EMF meters from Amazon. The cheapest that I would go um, is this one. It's probably about $160, $180. First link in the YouTube description. And then I'll do a follow-up video for RF stuff, but specifically if you want to test Wi-Fi in your house to make sure your sleeping environment is good, the RF meter, the AM10 by Acoustameter, is probably the one that I would recommend to everyone. Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much concludes this intro. We're gonna talk about some more complicated stuff and measurements in the follow-up videos. So if you have questions or if there's something I left out, uh, let me know in the YouTube video and I'll see you in the part two.